confidence in God. That's what we want to focus on today. Recognize that uh, we have great confidence in God when we understand what it is we've received in the church. How can we not be confident in him? Once we were no people, but now we're God's people. We've been chosen by God. It wasn't that we picked him, but he picked us, right? And he bapti- we were baptized, we've been washed, we've been anointed, we've been filled with him, we're invited to his table, we're members of the household of God. What an incredible thing that we have. Realize that we, like living stones, are built up into the spiritual house of God. What a great privilege. What a great grace. And because of that, we don't live like the rest of the world. We live differently. So that, as he said, I urge you as aliens and sojourners, realize that, that all of us, this is not our home. It's not our home. We are just traveling through for a short time to our true and lasting home, not made by hands, prepared for us in heaven, right? And so we recognize if that's true, if that's truly what we believe, then we live differently. We live not attached to worldly desires because these things wage war against our soul. They're trying to steal our true inheritance, trying to convince us we're citizens of this world and not the next one. But no, when we live as Christian people, the world looks at us and says, you're weird, you're different, why? (laughs) I kind of like it. (laughs) It's a little weird, a little different, but you know what, you're happy. Even though I'm worried about losing my money, I'm worried about jobs, I'm worried about families. These Christian people, they're not worried about that unless we are. Right? But if we're truly living in the, in the union with God, we have nothing to worry about and we maintain good conduct. So even in when and if they speak poorly of you, everyone looks at you and says, that guy? No, that's, that's not true. They can see that it's very obviously false. So that's what's important. We recognize we are legitimately criticized for things because we're doing them. Right? But we want to live in such a way that people can say whatever they want, but everyone else can know that it's not the truth. You know that the, that the Lord lives in us. This blind man shows us how to live in that way, living only solely for him. Because once he locks on to Jesus, we realize he's so confident. This is what's so great about it. He's a blind man. The only possession he has, right, to keep him warm at night is his cloak. What does he do with it? He throws it aside as he gets up. How's he going to find it again in the crowd? What if somebody takes it? Then he's, then he's kind of like cold and blind, you know? <laughs> what if nothing happens? What if he comes? He's not even thinking about that, is he? He's like, I know Jesus is coming. I've heard this guy can heal people. I know he can. I know he's the son of David. I know he's the Messiah. He has this great faith where he just says, I'm going to be able to find that thing if I need it, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Just gets up and runs right toward him. Well, stumbles, you know, follow, follow the voice, you know, probably led to him. But we see this very clearly. He just comes up and Jesus, he asks him clearly, what do you want? As if, like, like well, obvi- it's obvious what he wants. No, it's not always obvious. It's not always obvious. But he says very clearly what the desire in his heart is. I want to see, right? What a, what a beautiful thing. that If only we could see what's really going on. If only we could really see the reality of who we are and who God is. And so his faith saves him. He receives light in his soul and in his eyes. And then he follows Jesus. So let's ask that same grace that we would be focused on the Lord, that we would not hold on to anything. We'd realize, you know what? I don't need that stuff. I need Jesus because otherwise I'm blind. And even if I have possessions, even if I'm warm, I still can't see anything, right? So we need the light of faith to be able to help us on this way to have joy in the Lord's presence. Come Holy Spirit.